Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the user profiles inside of your uh, app platform. Um, in your back office, underneath your dashboard, it's the first uh, first tab there, customers, manage customers right here. It shows you a list of how many, you know, all the people that have downloaded your app have created a profile here. It'll tell you a total right here, uh, 34. If you've got more than 200, this will only load 200 at a time uh, because it's it's takes a lot of time and a lot of resources on the system. So you can actually just, it'll show you the first, the, the latest 200. If you want to search, you can search right from here as well. Okay, so you can find people that are past 200. But let's take a look inside their profile and we'll take a look at what all the things are that we have. So first things first, we click on the customer's email address or whatever information you have there. And you click the show hide out of detail link here and it will pull up a CRM. This is a fully functioning CRM uh, with you know as much information as you want on your customer first name last name their email uh, the Location they signed up at if you got multiple locations. They'll populate here uh, Any kind of tags you want to, to uh, tag them with so the tag segment the database in order for you to send push notifications uh, Their address phone number gender um, You know, I'm gonna fill this out. So this guy's name looks like it's Jeff Jeff Pinto Okay um, I don't have his address or phone number, but I do have uh, his gender uh, birthday I don't have, uh, I can select a country, and these guys are in British Columbia, so I can select a province. So this information can be submitted, and now it will it will be updated in the system. So when I click here, you can see Jeff Pinto, uh, and I click again on his name, and we're back into the profile. So we, again, clicking on this shows the CRM where you can update all the personal information. Um, your invoices uh, um, link right here. So when you again click show hide, uh, this will show any invoices, any transactions that have happened between the customer and the business. This is in one of our loyalty programs. Okay, you can add uh, as well here. You can add invoices uh, right here as well. Um, you select the location, what they're spending. Um, you know, if the loyalty system is set up, it will automatically populate. Uh, so you can see this has got given the guy four dollars for points. And a date and an invoice number would be required to be added. So let's put the number one here, hit active and submit, and um, it will submit the invoice for you. So you can see that uh, now we have $4 earned um, here. So if I click the show hide detail, there's the invoice I just created. I close that, I click on the, um, the total earned, uh, and it will show me here invoice number one, total dollars earned, the date. Okay, so this is the back office uh, of the user profile. Uh, it also gives you some further information. All of these uh, these blue links, they're all clickable. So you can see, you know, where you've earned things, what you've earned, that kind of stuff. It's all clickable. <clears throat> um, there's also a loyalty coupons report. So if you've got a punch card, you can see the punch card here as well. Okay. Um, and you can see any kind of transactions that have happened here as well. So this is the back office for the customer um, profile area. Um, and again, you can search by email or name or tag, you can filter by gender, age group, if you've got different locations, you can do that as well. So all of this stuff is housed in the back office. Um, let's take a look at uh, all of the gender again. So we've got some things at the bottom here that we would want to see. So if you want to select multiple emails to delete, uh, you can do that. Just select this, these check boxes on the side here and you can uh, click an action here, delete, activate, deactivate, all that can be done at one shot. All right. Perfect, guys. Thanks for watching.